to you. Welcome, welcome on a Friday. Yeah, this is Friday, November. Can you get over that? I mean, this is November. All right. And and already moving into a, a, almost, goodness, somewhere down toward the first full week of November. Yeah, we're, we're moving right into that. Hey, hey, I just... Need you to understand God's blessings is so powerful here in November. All right, all right. Let me invite you into church Sunday morning right here at Messenger Church, 602 Summit Road, 10 a.m. We have church. 10 a.m. We start streaming for those that, that, that cannot come because of sickness or you don't live around us, but yet you like to hear, hear the preaching and see the worship and enjoy what God's doing 10 o'clock, we start streaming, and we, we, we began to move it through the whole service instead of just the last few worship songs and the preaching. I pray you enjoy it that way. All righty, I know, I know there's some extra time in there. You say, well, I just don't want, I, I don't want that part of it. Well, it's the church service. That, that's what happens. So that lets you know what's going on around here. It gives you the ability to understand that people are being blessed through their giving. And then, of course, the worship. Oh, my goodness, the presence of God in that worship. 10 o'clock, all right? 6 o'clock is prayer. We also have two cla elective classes uh, that are taught at 5 o'clock every Sunday. So we're just seeing God do great things. Okay, let's get into our thought. Success in life is not accumulating stuff. Did you hear that? Did you? Accumulating stuff, that is not success. It doesn't matter how much stuff you have, all right, that doesn't make you successful. If that was a fact, the man that owns the junkyard would be one of the most successful people in the country because, man, he really has the stuff. It has nothing to do with what you've accumulated. I, it doesn't matter, all right? If you got a pair of tennis shoes that cost 300 bucks, it doesn't mean you're any more successful than the man that's got the pair that costs 50 bucks. See, that's not the way God looks at it. That is not a sign of your success. It's about, this is what success is. It's about fulfilling your destiny and becoming all God intended you to become. We spend too much time Accumulating stuff, maintaining stuff, guarding stuff. When the word of God said this, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of this stuff you need will be added to you. You see, so God laid out a, a directive here. He said, put me first, put my kingdom first, put my righteousness First, which is your ability to live upright before God. And that can only happen when you're obedient to the word of God. All right. But all of that first, let that be your dream, your vision, your hope. And then I'll take care of what's left over. I take care of wherever the needs are. So God gave us a, 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 a directive. He set a precedent for us when he said, seek me first, seek my kingdom first. All right. So, hey, hey. Let's do not major on the minor. And the minor is this stuff of this world that is so temporary. Our relationship with Jesus Christ is the major because that's eternal. All right, gonna go. Hey, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock. You can get us in live or online. I love you. Thank God for you. I'll be rolling back in here for Ponder This next Monday. Go in God's grace.